gentlemen, while I receive with much satisfaction your address replete with expressions of esteem, I rejoice in the opportunity of assuring you that I shall always retain grateful remembrance of the cordial welcome I experience on my visit to Newport from all classes of citizens. The reflection on the days of difficulty and danger which are past, rendered the most sweet from a consciousness that they are succeeded by the days of uncommon prosperity and security. We have wisdom to make the best use of the advantages with we are now favored. We cannot fail, under the just administration of a good government, to become a great and happy people. The citizens of the United States of America have a right to applaud themselves for having given to mankind examples of an enlarged and liberal policy, a policy worthy of imitation, a policy alike liberty of consciousness and immunity of citizenship. It is now no more than toleration is spoken of, as if it were the indulgence of one class of people that another enjoyed the exercise of their inherent natural rights, for happily, the government of the United States, which gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance, requires only that they live under its protection should demand themselves as good citizens in giving it all occasions their effectual support. It would be inconsistent with the frankness of my character not to avow that I am pleased with your favorable opinion of my administration and fervent wishes for my felicity. May the children of the stock of Abraham who dwell in this land continue to merit and enjoy the good will of the other inhabitants, while everyone shall sit in safety under its own vine and fig tree, and there shall be none to make him afraid. May the Father of all mercies scatter light and not darkness upon our paths and make us all in our several vocations useful here. In his own due time, and way everlastingly happy. George Washington.